Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the series that is aiming to explore every single nation on this planet. You are currently watching the US series and today we are going to talk about New Mexico. If you want to watch the rest of the series, check out this playlist, but also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Following the victory of the United States in the Mexican-American War, under the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, Mexico ceded its mostly unsettled northern holdings, today known as the American Southwest plus California, to the United States of America. The US vowed to accept the residents' claim to their lands and to accept them as full citizens with rights of suffrage. This acquisition of territory and residents resulted in Mexicans legally being classified as white, since at the time, in most of the southern United States, only whites could vote. Contrary to popular belief, New Mexico was not named for the present-day nation of Mexico. The region received its name long before the present-day nation won independence from Spain in 1821. Spanish explorers recorded this region as Nuevo Mexico in 1563 and again in 1581, hoping to find their wealthy Mexican Indian cultures similar to those of the Aztec or Mexica Empire of the Valley of Mexico. The indigenous cultures of New Mexico, however, proved to be unrelated to the Aztecs and were not very wealthy. People in New Mexico weren't really sure what happened on July 16, 1945, after hearing a large explosion. They were told it was an ammunition explosion. Little did they know that that explosion signified the day the world changed forever, as the US government detonated the first ever atomic bomb in Los Alamos. This very first atomic bomb was detonated in the desert sands of the Hornada del Muerto in south-central New Mexico. Known by its codename Trinity, it was of the same design as the bomb dropped on Nagasaki in Japan a few weeks later. The Trinity site is located on the White Sands Missile Range and is now a National Historic Site. In 1947, a local found debris from an unidentified craft near the New Mexican town of Roswell. Military personnel quickly retrieved it and told media it was a collapsed weather balloon, a skeptical public believed otherwise. The event sparked one of the most famous UFO craze in world history. Ufologists began promoting a variety of increasingly elaborate conspiracy theories, claiming that one or more alien spacecraft had crash-landed and the extraterrestrial occupants had been recovered by the military, who then engaged in a cover-up. In the 1990s, the US military published two reports disclosing the true nature of the crashed object, a nuclear test surveillance balloon from Project Mogul. Nevertheless, the Roswell incident continues to be of interest in popular media and conspiracy theories surrounding the event persist. New Mexico is home to something that looks like it's out of this world. The White Sands National Monument sports over 1800 square kilometers of white gypsum sand, which makes it resemble a kind of albino desert landscape. The gypsum dune field is the largest of its kind on Earth. Amazingly, the dunes are not on the list of the World Heritage Sites, and this is because New Mexican leaders vehemently opposed the application. Why? They feared that if included on the list, there will at some point be international pressures exerted that could stop military operations as they take place today. Microsoft was founded by Paul Allen and Bill Gates on April 4, 1975, to develop and sell basic interpreters for the Altair 8800. The company rose to dominate the personal computer operating system market, with MS-DOS in the mid-80s, followed of course by Microsoft Windows. But where did it all start? In Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, this was Microsoft's first headquarters, at least until 1979 when it moved into the state of Washington, where it remains to this day. 
and the name by the way wasn't coined by Bill Gates, it was invented by Paul Allen. The city of Santa Fe, founded by Spanish colonists in 1610, is the oldest city in the state and the oldest state capital city in the United States. It isn't a big city, it only has a population of just 70,000 people, but without a doubt it has its own charm. The city's full name, which by the way means holy faith in Spanish, is La Villa Real de la Santa Fe de San Francisco de Assis, meaning the royal city of the holy faith of Saint Francis of Assisi. And that was it. These were 7 facts about New Mexico. I hope you enjoyed the video enough that you'd leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments downstairs and if you wish to support this channel even more, visit my Patreon page to become a Patron. I hope to see you next time, bye.